we made it. NaNoWriMo and the NaNoWriMo Diaries begins right now. everybody! Welcome to NaNoWriMo Diaries 2023. This is our fourth year of every day vlogging. I am so excited for NaNoWriMo. I hope it's going well for you so far, but today is day one. It is 9 19 in the morning. I have already had a few hiccups this morning, but I am smiling and I am ready to go. <laughs> so I have some errands I need to run today, and then I'm going to be focusing quite a bit these first couple days on editing my novel, which we'll talk about my goals in a minute, and also cleaning my house. I had a massively busy October, and just as always happens with me that when I'm super busy, I tend to pull things out and then not put them away. And my husband doesn't really know where they go. So there are messes like in piles kind of all over the house. And it's just, I need to get it done. I also still, of course, have Halloween decorations up. So I want to get those down and get the house feeling really good because I know that I will be more successful if the house feels really great. Laundry is done, things are put away. And that's going to take me, honestly, a couple of days at least to do. So I'm planning to run errands, kind of get myself centered, have a little bit of self-care and me time and getting my nails done today and just listening to podcasts, getting a coffee. And then when I get home after lunch, I am going all in on cleaning and writing. So I will bring you along with me. And then tonight we have a lot of busy stuff going on. Evie has gymnastics practice. And then right away we have to eat dinner real quick, get Andrew to the baseball field where he's playing a game tonight. And it is like Arctic, Texas. <laughs> I know that will seem silly to some of you, but it is 36 degrees here right now. And we're going to be playing ball in the dark tonight and it's going to be freezing cold. And we don't have enough stuff for the kids that's warm for him to like play baseball. It's not like you play baseball in a big jacket, right? A big puffy jacket. So we need to maybe do a little bit of shopping to make sure the kids have the right warm clothing and that we're prepared for tonight. And then the Rangers play in the World Series tonight game five, but they are three games up. So if they win tonight, they win the whole World Series. So it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a busy one. I'm hoping maybe tomorrow will be a little less busy, but I'm kind of seeing today as my grounding day. Like let's start anchoring into the fact that NaNo has begun. I've got a task to do. I've got my book that I get to finally focus on hundred percent. And so I'm going to get all the things done that I need to do to really be able to focus. So that's what we're going to do the first couple of days, especially today. And it's going to be some family time and I'm excited to take you along with me. So let's go.
Okay, first of the late night writing sprints. 10.30 is not like that late, but I don't want this to be a zero day. I'm going to try to update my word count every day for NaNo. I don't know that I've ever gotten that badge of updating every single day. So let's try for that in 2023. Oh, okay, I'm riding the high of the win and now with very tired eyes and I could literally just fall asleep. I am going to try to just get in one small sprint, like literally 15 minutes and that's it. And I'm going to set, I do have this timer over here that has a 15 minute on it. So that's what I'm going to set and I'm going to write for just 15 minutes. So let's do this. Okay, 15 minutes, not too shabby, 697 words. I just started working on one of the scenes that needs to be replaced. I didn't really get a ton, but I got something. So we are on the board. So let me head over to the NaNoWriMo site update for the first time. I actually need to change this as well. This Mirror of Shadows is actually multiple projects. So let me change this. Okay, that concludes day one of the NaNoWriMo Diaries. It's going to be an adventure and I'm glad that you're here for the party with me. Let me know how you did on day one and each day the vlogs will go up a day behind just so it gives me time to do a full vlog and then post it the day after. I'm also going on a writing retreat on the weekend. I think I'm going to leave Sunday and I'm trying to decide if I want to stay at kind of like a Airbnb somewhere in the Dallas downtown area or if I want to go out somewhere to a cabin like like maybe in hill country because this whole book takes place in a cabin on the river and it might be kind of cool to go to a cabin in the woods but then i'm like will i scare myself as a woman alone in a cabin in the woods i don't know uh maybe it would be better to be in like a big apartment complex i don't know let me know your thoughts down below um i have gone to cabins alone and it's usually fine <laughs> but I might scare myself at the same time, but I'm going to try to get as far as I can before the weekend so that I can spend that full three or four days just writing as hard as I can and enjoying some time to not only get a little bit of extra sleep, but maybe get some reading in and get tons of writing in as well. And so that is the first day of NaNo. I cannot promise that this adventure will be an easy road. I cannot promise that I will get words every day or that I will win 50 or 60,000 words this month, but I can promise that you will get an honest journey out of me and hopefully we will be in this together and we'll conquer this <laughs> and it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you for being here on this journey and I will see you on day two. Bye.